Hey creative earthlings, welcome to another Sunday DIY. The Northern Hemisphere is experiencing a heat wave at the moment and I thought we'd cool down by making some summery crafts. We're going to give our door keys a beach makeover. Super super easy, super beginner friendly, all that jazz, so let's get started. As my working surface, I'm using an old checkboard that's made out of glass. That's because it's so much easier to work with clay and glass. It won't stick as much. It's just gonna make your life a lot easier. That's what I found. If you don't have a checkboard, you can use a glass from an old frame or whatever. Our first design is a watermelon slice. I don't think I need to say much. A watermelon is pretty much essential for summer. Uh, all you're gonna do is roll two little snakes out of white and green clay and make like a triangle out of red clay and connect them like so. Roll them just a little bit to flatten them down and they're gonna connect automatically and you're gonna have a solid piece. Place your key on top and sketch your design. In this case, to simulate a watermelon is just a simple triangle and cut the excess. Press the edges a little bit with your finger to soften them up. And because this is a key cover, you're gonna need to make another one to cover the other side of the key. And now that I think of it, maybe I should have skipped the voiceover because these instructions are super easy and you guys get it. You don't need me to explain like every single step. Press the two layers with your fingers so you'll create a solid cover that covers a key from all sides. It sort of looks like a, a sandwich. Not like a sandwich, like a pie and the key is a filling. Oh my god, that's a weird analogy. Okay, just scratch that. Oh, and don't forget to poke a hole with a toothpick so you can use it as a key and put it in a keychain. The usual things you can do with keys. Roll out a very thin snake out of black clay and cut very, very tiny pieces to add as watermelon seeds. Also, you can do eyes and a little bit of a kawaii smile. If you want, that's not necessary. For the second design, I wanted to do like a gradient effect, which you can achieve that by rolling two different colors of clay together. Just roll them and then fold and roll and fold again and roll and do that a bunch of times. And eventually you're going to see some gradients, shades, middle shades in the middle there. And that's the gradient effect, which I kind of achieved, but I should have worked more on it. But you know, life's not perfect. Keys don't have to be perfect either. The process is exactly the same as before, this time we're making a shell. If you want to, you can reference a picture online, just look and sketch it. It's very easy. And you know DIYs sometimes don't work, don't go as planned, but at the end of the day you should feel gratitude because you did not burn down the house because falling asleep and forgetting about the oven, it can happen to anybody. So I guess I'm painting this over white. So much for the gradient effect. For the third one, I wanted to do a mermaid tail or a fish with its mouth open, I guess. <laughs> it depends on what side you're on. But go ahead and be Hufflepuffs. It's your choice. Lastly, I created scales with a tuba hat. You can use a thin straw and some lines for the tail. And I had this shimmery creamy eyeshadow and I used it to give shimmer the way ocean creatures are supposed to shine. 
Final step is to bake them according to your package instructions. It's very important not to forget about the oven and let them burn. Just keep an eye for that, okay? And once they're cool, give them a coat of glaze and you're done. You have some brand new keys that no one else has. Very unique and very, very cute. So thank you everyone for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're new here, please take a moment and subscribe. Once you hit the red button, another button will appear next to it. That's a bell, that's a magic bell that will notify you for the next video. If you have some time, just follow my social media. For this week, the theme is polymer clay and items you can decorate with it. It's gonna be all over Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and you don't wanna miss that. So check the description down below. So thanks everyone once again, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Hello, my wonderful earthlings. Oh my God, I love this filter so, so, so much. This is for us. This is for us earthlings.